it's me again Kalyopi and I'm so so freaking excited for this video and maybe this series. So I used to work as a tattoo designer, it was my first real job that I found as an artist. Everyone was so happy with what I have created and I was so honored to see people have my designs on their skin. After that it goes without saying that the idea of tattooing actual human skin has been on my mind for more than 8 years now but I was always so so afraid because I was sure I was not gonna be good at it. Whenever I get stressed, I get so so shaky. My stress levels are always so visible with my body and I start to tremble so much. I should probably go check it out because I don't think that it is normal to be that shaky. So that idea had completely gone away from my mind until a month ago when me and my brother started to chat about it and like joke around like yeah come and I will give you a tattoo or something and he was so hyping me up about how good I would be and I got it and maybe yeah I think that this video is just my brother manipulating me into learning tattooing so he can get free tattoos for life but I actually did it Trying to find all the equipment you might need in order to start tattooing can be such a frustrating process but thankfully we have the internet nowadays and you can find everything there, lists of the best tattoo machines and all the supplies you may need. And Dragonhawk was almost everywhere and all the people really suggested it and said only good things about it so I took a shot and decided to email them and ask them if they want to be a part of my tattoo journey of this crazy whole idea of me trying to learn how to tattoo and surprisingly enough they said yes so they sent me this whole box of goodies with everything I may need to start practicing from grip tape to ink cups to even ink and stencil paper or fake skin and of course needles but the tattoo machine you're going to use is probably the most important choice you have to make and since day one I knew I wanted pen style of tattoo machine and yeah they had the Mast Lancer wireless rotary tattoo pen and I chose the 4.2 millimeter stroke because after all the research I have done about tattoo machines and everything, having a stronger stroke is much better for a good line work and also to pack color and everything. And also, if you actually learn how to use your machines and everything, you can get great shading even, even with this type of stroke. And also, after seeing some artist reviews about the Mast Lancer tattoo pen, everyone had only good things to say about it, so I was pretty locked and sure that this one is the one for me. Some may think that this is still too expensive for a beginner to start tattooing and practicing but having a good tattoo machine from day one it is a no-brainer that will help you so so much to be better and to learn tattooing the right way even if it is just in your home like I am doing right now with all the tutorials that are available on YouTube and of course not to mention that this looks so so sexy. As I made it pretty clear on the beginning of this video, I started this whole crazy idea because me and my brother were like talking about it and we were so excited about me doing a tattoo on him and when I ordered everything I didn't know if I would have them on time because my brother studies in a different city where I live and he was about to leave in two days but I received the box and now I just had two days in order to learn and to him because he was so excited and he was not about to let me get away with not giving him a tattoo so after I finished the whole unboxing and I got to see everything and all the materials and get super excited I knew that my time was running out and I just started to design his tattoo immediately I used my iPad and Procreate to create the tattoo design and since I didn't have as much time as I wanted to create a tattoo design from scratch he was pretty sure he wanted a tattoo with a wolf and he found a tattoo design that he was so so excited about and he really really liked so I took it and then I went to Pinterest and tried to find inspiration from all over the place in order to change up the design because it is not cool to have or copy a tattoo someone else has 
and even though this wasn't the best job I could do if I had the time I wanted, still I was pretty sure I needed to change it up and create something unique for him. So this was me trying to create a tattoo design that looks good but it is also beginner friendly because this would be my first tattoo ever and I didn't want to make it too difficult. Also something that I need to mention again is that I'm doing this just for my brother. My intention was to practice a lot after I got all my equipment and everything before I started tattoo people but because this happened so fast and my brother was leaving, um, yeah, this is just an exception for him. I never want to just go and buy a tattoo kit and go crazy from day one. But just for this time, I said why not and since my brother was okay with it, we just went for it. After I had the design ready, I started to do the stencil, which means first I had to trace the design down to a paper and then go for the stencil and retrace it. Now all these days that I was searching online for what I need in order to start tattooing, I also wanted to pay really big attention into the hygiene of the whole process and so I also went to buy all the stuff I may need from a market for keeping my desk area and generally my tattoo area clean and also the skin of the person that I'm tattooing safe. So I started practicing all those elements and stages even with me right now that I will just be tattooing the fake skin in order to understand the process and what I had to do the day I will actually tattoo my brother. So this includes me putting down the stencil correctly and having the design be ready and also bagging my tattoo machine so it is clean and safe. And this is actually a process but thankfully once again I found some videos online on how to bag your pen tattoo type of machine and it was pretty easy and the mask lancer being a wireless tattoo pen this makes it so so easy. And after all those hours of unboxing and just watching tutorials and designing, the only thing that was left for me was to just put the needle into the tattoo machine and get started. And oh boy, I was feeling the first vibration and I was ready to take the first line. I saw you inside, it was a cold winter night. You sure like different intoxicants to make you feel alright. Doing my first tattoo on fake skin made me realize how afraid I was about learning the needle depth and how far in the needles go. In my surprise, the shakiness of my hands wasn't so bad as I thought it would be. And also I think it's one more thing that is so good about the masked lancer because so many people said that it doesn't have much vibration and that keeps your hand a lot more steady. And actually, after a few hours, I was done with the line work and I was so so surprised about how good this actually looks. I didn't expect it to turn out that good and I was so excited, but still I knew that tattooing on a fake skin flat on your desk is like tattooing with the absolute dream conditions and I knew that this wouldn't be what I would face on my brother's skin but at least I had practiced the basics and since I was filming and practicing for more than nine hours it was about time I went to bed and continue tomorrow. This is the second day that I'm trying to learn how to tattoo. Yeah, I'm not completely disappointed by myself but definitely not ready for what my crazy brother wants me to do which is tattoo him tomorrow. He's so freaking excited about this whole thing that he just wants a tattoo from me and he just donates his body to the cause of me learning how to tattoo. So for now I think I'm just gonna practice some shading on this one and see how I would do it. What worries me the most about tattooing is the needle depth and figuring out not to hurt the other person and I can see many spots that I went too deep and others that I just didn't even go in. This time my goal was to practice shading and I tried some dot shading and also the quick hand moving type of shading which was much easier than what I expected and also it gave the shadow effect really nicely because learning to incorporate your hand movement and the tattoo machine speed is one of the best things you can do about shading because then you realize how the shading actually works. You can also slow down the voltage of your tattoo machine in order to heat to make it heat less quickly kind of. 
I'm still trying to understand everything so I'm not the best person to explain right now but yeah realizing and learning about the actual tattoo machine speed and your hand speed is some of the most exciting things about tattooing and you can do so many things with it for your technique and your shading And then my brother came in to check on me and see how everything was going. It was getting pretty late again, but I did try to test out the stencil stuff on an actual human skin and see how it is staying and behaving. So this is it, this is the actual tattoo day, this is me again going through the process of creating the tattoo stencil and redrawing the tattoo design which is actually a pretty good practice because that way I got to do the design about three or four times and pass it over and get a bit of hang of how the lines work and and maybe even get my brain to memorize some of the moves but this is it this is actually really happening i'm sorry for seeing my head so much in the upcoming shots but i was too damn stressed to think about the camera and everything and i was just there shaking and trying to make my first line and also this is the part where i get to say a huge thank you to my brother for staying like a true hero for five hours in order for me to create this tattoo so so shaky i was so so stressed and afraid to touch my brother's skin i didn't want to hurt him i didn't want to create something that would be awful and forever on his body but i finally i finally did it even though he was just so excited to get it to do and didn't really mind me doing something that's not gonna look that good he um i was so stressed and i just wanted to to prove to myself that even though this is the first one i have to be kind of good at it or else it won't be worth it for me to practice i know it sounds silly because why someone should be good at something at the first try but this was my expectations i i had to do it for me and see how it goes this might actually not even go anywhere because i might just be here tattooing my brother and not anyone else because i think that I'm not sure if tattooing is a job that I would like to follow as um, I'm still so stressed about other people's body, about making a mistake on someone's body and just 
being able to take care of uh, strangers, skin and all that still seems so scary to me. So I'm not sure how this will go. But for now, I just, I just want to practice the skill of tattooing and just learn something new. And I will keep that and just keep going. Um, I'm actually pretty excited. That was all for you guys today. This was the first part of maybe this whole series of me learning how to tattoo journey. And yeah, please let me know in the comments down below. Did I just butcher my brother should i just give up already or did you have fun and maybe you can like it and subscribe because it would be super fun to have you here and yeah till next time have a super duper day bye